Hello and welcome to this video on the process of standardizing a normal random variable. This process is used quite a bit in deriving decision rules used in hypothesis testing. It's also used in other areas of statistical inference. So to begin, let's assume we have a random variable x that has a known mean and a known variance. We often want to find probabilities of the form, the probability that x is less than or equal to some value x1. Back in the good old days, before easy access to things like spreadsheets or programs like Minitab, these probabilities were hard to compute because there is no closed form solution for the cumulative distribution function of the normal random variable. So people had to make tables of the cumulative distribution function and it was infeasible to make tables for every value of a mean and every value of a variance that a normal random variable could have. So what we ended up doing is we standardized these normal random variables as follows. We define a random variable z and z is our random variable x minus its mean divided by its standard deviation. And it turns out, and this is the magic, that z is a normal random variable with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. And so it's now possible to have one table of the cumulative distribution function of z, and you'll find these tables actually in almost any statistics book. So how do we use this standardization in order to find this probability, the one that we were actually trying to find at the beginning? Well, we can show algebraically that if I subtract the mean from both sides of this inequality and then divide both sides by the standard deviation, I make a mess, but what I get is the probability that x minus mu over sigma is less than or equal to some value x1 minus mu over sigma. And we know from our definition that this guy here is z. So now we have the probability of z less than or equal to x1 minus mu over sigma. Again, z is a standard normal random variable and we have tables of its cumulative distribution function. We can also compute this easily with a spreadsheet. So let's suppose as an example that we have a random variable x. And let's suppose that x has a mean of 3 and a variance of 0 0.25. And we want to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 2.5. Well, the way we would find this probability is to standardize x as well as the 2.5, and then we can either look it up in a table or use a, a spreadsheet to compute it. So to standardize it, we subtract the mean. So we'll have x minus 3 and we divide by the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we would divide by 0.5. The probability that x minus 3 over 0.5 is less than 2.5 minus 3 over 0.5. Now we know that this part here is z. So we have the probability that z is less than or equal to, and 2.5 minus 3, this quantity is 0.5 divided, or I'm sorry, this quantity is negative 0.5 divided by 0.5 gives us minus 1. And we can either look this up in a table or we can compute it using a spreadsheet. So to compute this using a spreadsheet, we would use the command equals norm s dist of minus 1. So hopefully this video has helped you understand how to standardize a normal random variable where such standardization is used and how to actually do it.
Thanks for watching.